Hello, hello, I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. My name is Kyle Michkowski, a.k.a. Ghost Panda, in the place to be, as always. And today we're playing some more Everybody's Golf. I've had a chance to play this game quite a bit and post some uh, several videos for the game on the channel. And today we will be playing the front nine holes for Pine Hills Golf Club. And Pine Hills Golf Club is one of the DLC courses that you can unlock or can get for, for everybody's golf. There are three DLC courses, and this is one of them. This is actually the newest one. And I actually did play the course already, but I only played through it once. So, so I'm going to try to play through it again, at least for the front nine, and hopefully I can get the back nine video up as well. But I will say it's a really it's a really lovely course. It's a very nice addition to to the game. It's actually it actually has a nice like kind of professional feel to it, you know, considering that everybody's golf is is a, a fantasy golf game. So which which that's great. I mean, you know, that's that's definitely great. I mean, I think everybody's golf should be fantasy because well, it's hot shots golf slash everybody's golf, and that's the way it's supposed to be. But with that being said, it is kind of cool to see a a course that is a little bit on the realistic side it actually does have a little bit of an Augusta National feel to it if you're not familiar with Augusta National then it is the home of the home of the Masters tournament golf tournament you might be familiar with the Masters so so yeah so it kind of has that feel it also has a feel of another course as well called Quail Hollow which is in the Carolinas and they actually just on the PGA Tour they actually just got done playing that course so, so it kind of reminds me a little bit of both, and it, it, it's a great course. I, I really enjoy it. So, and I'm looking forward to showing showing it off for you here today. So let's see what we can do here. And by the way, you can subscribe to the channel. You can leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. I tend to post a lot of sports related sports gaming related videos and, and you might see a lot of golf on here and that's because I just you know I, I do play a lot of golf games I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of a geek or kind of a sucker for good golf games so you might see a lot of golf game related uh, videos on here but but I do have a blend just a blend of different gaming videos on the channel but but I'm trying to focus a little more on on sports gaming in general but but I also have some other stuff on there as well. If you remember PlayStation Home, that was a pretty good shot. If you remember PlayStation Home, then I got some videos up from PlayStation Home as well. So if you want some memory, go down memory lane. You can go look at those old videos that I got of PlayStation Home, or or some of the new virtual worlds that that come out like Adam Universe or Nebula Realms, what have you. So I got some of those videos up as well. Oh, beautiful putt. Not bad, not bad. Good start, good start. Wait a minute, how come my score's not showing up on the thing? My score didn't show up on the uh, on the scorecard. Okay. Whatever, dude. <laughs> I think on this course, I think I actually did rank like in the top five on like one of the holes, and I'm all and I was all excited because like ooh, I never really been. It's very rare when I get in the top five on a course. Now, now you'll know, keep in mind that darn, keep in mind that there's not a whole lot of people who play this course or who had this course because you know it, you you had to purchase it so. There's not a lot of people. It's DLC content, so not everybody has has access to it. Or you know, maybe some people just can't. You know, there's there are some people who who just can't get it at right now. So you know, there's not gonna be a whole lot of people with it right now. Not to mention, DLC courses do not get the bonus, and because usually each day they, if you've never played everybody's golf, each day when you play online. No, because I'm playing online right now. I'm playing on the open course online. And on the online, 
<laughs> Look at his head. <laughs> anyway, getting thrown off track here. But but when you play online, there's bonus courses. And for the bonus courses, you receive more coins. And that was a bad putt. Yeah, it was okay, I guess. This didn't go too far. But you get bonus coins when you complete a nine hole round. Or excuse me, no. Uh, you, you 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 receive a prize for completing nine holes. And the score is not showing up. But you you receive a prize, which you get the following day when you complete nine holes. And submit your nine hole course or, or nine hole score on the particular bonus course. So DLC courses do not count for bonus courses. I, in a way, I honestly think they should be counted. Please don't go in the water. It's going in the water. Yeah, it's definitely going in the water. <laughs> oh, man. The backspin is a gift and a curse. <laughs> not just in this game, but in any golf game. Which I'm going to try to say something about that pretty in a minute here. But I'm just saying about the bonus course. I do think that, that DLC courses should be considered... For bonus courses, because it's a good way to get people get people drawn into playing these these DLC courses. I mean, yeah, people are gonna people are gonna probably get the course anyway, but there might not be as much of a desire to play them in the open course because well, they're, they're not they're not bonuses. So because of that, because of that, I feel that that. Because of that, I feel that, you know, they should be able to p give DLC courses a chance to be bonus courses so that way it could draw more people to play it and whatnot. So, you know, but obviously it would be bad for or it would suck for the, for people who don't have the courses. And so it would be like, oh, darn, I can't do the bonus course today because, oh, today it's a DLC course. And it's three DLC courses, so you know that's gonna rotate a lot. I'm sure, you know, it, you know, you may go from one DLC course one day, and then you're hoping for one of the the, the current courses. You're hoping that one of those courses is gonna be a bonus course, and then it ends up being another DLC course anyway. And that's just gonna that's just gonna be probably frustrating for those who can't get the DLC courses. So that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the, the the problem, I guess. There, but at the same time, I think if you do want people to go and and if you do want if you do want people to more people to play the courses online, then well, you should try making bonus courses. And in a way, it's kind of a good marketing thing too, because well, you know, more people might be my interest. More people might be interested in buying the course because they might say, well, I can play this as a bonus course, and that was a horrible putt. And as a, a bonus course, it's a the DLC course could be a bonus courses. Okay, cool. So I could go ahead and, and just you know get that, and I could still take advantage of the bonus course opportunities and get those prizes. Play the bonus course, play the bonus course, and hit horrible putts like I just hit. I just hit it right off the green. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a failure at life. Uh, Roll back down, yeah, uh, almost. Looked like it was kind of going towards the hole, but but yeah, backspin. That's the one thing I wanted to say was. Now you might be saying, why? Why am I talking about backspin for? <laughs> What's backspin? Did <laughs> you know? <laughs> but but backspin is a you know not just backspin. I guess spinning in general, spinning the ball in general, in any golf game. It's 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 a gift and a curse now what you need to understand is in the golf gaming community in the golf gaming community a lot of people are kind of I guess that they're simulation heavy when it comes to golf games now a lot of the same people who are simulation heavy with golf games they do enjoy games like everybody's golf slash hot shots golf because well hot shots golf is iconic I mean is it's one of the most iconic PlayStation franchises of all time so, I mean, th th this is an exception with the arcade style, you know, the wacky, cartoony, fantasy style, you know, golf experience. 
but for most games, there's a lot of games out there, you know, like the EA Sports games, the Tiger games, that those games had the ability, or you had you have the ability to use spin, you know, and I'm not trying to be Captain Obvious here, I mean, some of you probably know, but no, because, you know, cause, you know you, if you're looking at this golf, if you're looking at the everybody's golf video, I'm sure you might have played other golf games before, but I'm trying to you know, spread this out, trying to make it, you know, try to tell people who don't know. But, you know, like in the Tiger games, you were able to use backspin, you know, you are spin the ball any way you want while the ball is in mid-flight. And a lot of people who are into the simulation style golf games, you know, like, like you know, pure simulation golf games, they don't like that ability, you know, I mean, among other things that the Tiger games had, you know, the, the Tiger games was a, a unique blend of, like, arcade and simulation golf games, you know, and, and I think in the arcade side got on a lot of people, uh, simulation, I guess hardcore, I don't, I don't know what you want to call them, hardcore simulation golfers, golf gamers, a lot of them didn't like it, so with the spin, they always say that, oh, yeah, it's horrible because, you know, there's no way you could spin the ball midair like that, like in the game. But I'll tell you right now that, it's like I said, it's a gift and a curse because it could ruin you or it can help you big time. But it, it could absolutely wreck you, too. And I have known that from experience, and that was a nice freaking putt. <laughs> Best putt you hit all day. Congratulations. I still can't see my score. Hey, I placed fifth. There we go. <laughs> Yay. But anywho, yeah. So. Did I just say anywho? But anyway. Uh, um, yeah, but it's a gift and a curse. Because, cause, yeah. Because like I mentioned. It can. It, it, if you. If you put too much spin on the ball. Then it can knock you off the green. Or it can leave you a longer putt. Look at a couple holes ago right here. Where I used the backspin and and then I ended up my ball ended up rolling into the water. That's what I'm talking about. Like stuff like that can happen to you with these games, you know. And so, so for, for people who are saying, "Oh well," ah crap. For people who are saying, "Oh well," you know, spin, darn, having spin midair is is is. is oh, that's that's too arcadey. It's not realistic enough. Whatever. I'm like, okay. Yeah, it's not realistic, but with that being said, it still can ruin your game if you're not careful. You know, if you abuse that ability or that feature, I guess you know, then then it could really it could really haunt you. You know, it could really ruin you. So that's the thing about it. So I mean, in a way, it's kind of like in a way, it kind of challenges you as well. You know, and not just oh, makes it easier for you. It's only easier for you if you really, really know how to use it effectively. Cause I mean, so many times, countless times, I've used spin like in the Tiger Games slash Roy McIlroy PJ Tour, which I got some videos of Roy McIlroy PJ Tour up on my channel too, that you can go and check out. I might even have it have it at the end of the video of this video. I might have, you know, links to other videos, and I might include some Rory videos in there too that I have in the, from the past. But, yeah, it can, it can ruin you, that spin. So, I mean, so many times that I left myself with a bat, a long putt, or went in the water, or whatever, because, oh, yeah, I'm using the spin, and I'm thinking, oh, but, uh, oh, yeah, this is going to be a good shot. But then it's like, oh, I used too much spin, and then it goes not where I wanted to go. Had I not used the spin, I, it would have been a better shot. So, that's the thing about that. Uh, wow. This is going great. But I do, I do really like this course, though. It's very pretty, I think, you know, with the, all the trees and then the flowers and everything. The way it's kind of laid out, I, it's, it's a really cool little golf course, so... There, there, there's, there's, coming on the home stretch here, but, but that Nam Rong, I think it is, the Nam Rong Golf Club, that's one I did not try yet, so I'm hoping to try that one too, but, but yeah, this, this Pine Hills though, this is the newest one, so, 
and I wanted to check this out because I was just curious. I'm curious about the other one too, but since this one's brand new, you know, the newer I guess, you know, the more curious you are, <laughs> you know. Either the other one is still fairly new too, but not quite like this one, so. My favorite course in the game though is probably Imperial Garden, and that's actually the last course you unlock. So unfortunately, if you're just starting the game out, you, you're going to have to play through the career mode. You know, oh, that was a gorgeous shot. Wow. That was a really good shot. But if you want to play Imperial Garden, you got to go to the career mode, and then you got to unlock the course. So if you're not a big career person, then, you know, you're, you're, you might not find it as enjoyable. But if you're a big career person anyway, then okay, then they you know more to barrier for you. You know, I mean, I found the career mode to be it, it was a grind. It was a grind. You know, it, it was definitely a grind, and you know sometimes a little tedious. But it, it it was pretty fun at the same time because you know it was always kind of fun to go against the different bosses, the different you no know, do all different boss battles. You don't know who you're going against because there's so many different wacky characters, so many different wacky bosses in the game. I cannot believe that ball just rolled into the water again. Look, luckily, it wasn't a water hazard, or you know, it didn't roll far enough to be considered a water hazard. So I got water shot. Square it up, yeah. So, but yeah, all the wacky characters and everything. Wow, that's whack. The unpredictability of the different characters and stuff, yeah, that was okay. Considering where you were, it kind of makes it kind of makes you keeps you coming back for more. Cause you're like, okay, I want to try to unlock everything, and you, then you want to try to lock all the courses and everything else. Now the characters slash bosses, they're not as as I guess memorable as in previous High Shots golf games, but 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 still, there are there's a whole bunch of them, and they're all pretty cool in their own way. So. So that's what I would do. But but you know, but with this game, with everybody's golf here, it's it's not necessarily about the the. There's not as much emphasis on like the, I think the versus characters, as there are in the past. Because you know you had to you know they had to lean on those characters so much in the past. And in this game, it's all about kind of the online play, people creating their own golfers, which I think is a good thing. And I know a lot of people were like, oh, man, we miss just using the characters because that's kind of what made the Hot Shots golf games kind of iconic, just using all these different wacky characters. But but I think it's great that, that we're able to customize characters, and I think people are starting to cozy, have cozied up to it and really enjoy it themselves. Plus, the cool thing is each boss you beat you can go into the customization, you know, like the character customization area and go ahead and and essentially copy the versus character that you defeated and then basically create an exact replica of that character. You know, you're you're literally creating that that same character that you beat. So you could play as the versus characters really. You know, so it's a win-win. You can play as your own creative character, or you can play as the bosses that you defeat. Alright, ninth hole. Got a little challenge here, too. Okay, you're not going to get that. Because <laughs> I don't think you're staying in the fairway, so... Nope. <laughs> nope. Get to the other fairway. Come on, I can't see. Is it in the other fairway? Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> I saw it hit the tree, and I was like, oh, get to that other fairway. There's no out of bounds. So I was like, oh, get to that other fairway. Yeah. So I got it. <laughs> got a few gems. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of interesting. They add these little mini missions, challenges, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was going to be trouble. Make it double. Uh, into the water. Dang. Well, at least you moved. At least you moved me. At least you didn't put me back behind the trees again. Well, this is a bad round. Yeah. 
Oh shoot! You know what? Too my my golfer level is probably gonna drop too. <laughs> oh, that sucks. <laughs> I'm, what am I now? Five. I'm five over, and I'm probably. I'm. I'm obviously gonna get a bogey. Like I'm not gonna make this chip shot for par, so I'm gonna get a bogey or probably a double bogey. Now, if I could at least get close enough to where I could get a bogey, that'd be good, and that was a pretty good shot. So. So uh, it should be six over, unless I missed the putt. Okay, you're six over. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure my my golf level is gonna drop. I don't know why the scorecard is not showing the actual you know scores because you know they have the circles and the squares and everything else, the triangles. Sounds like my PlayStation controller. Danger! Hey. I'm way last. Not only my last, but way last. Goodness gracious. All right, drop my level. Let's go. I know what you're gonna do. I think I'm like level 12 right now or something like that. So they're probably gonna drop me to to 11. And and my best was one over. So yeah, you know. Yep, there it goes. Yep, 11. No. 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 I honestly don't know what the purpose is of the golf level, though, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like it doesn't have that much of an effect on anything, really, just besides prestige, you know. Because, believe it or not, I was 15. I, level 15 is the highest, and I was level 15, so I've been kind of fluctuating a bit. I've been going up and down, up and down. I'll go get my level back up, then I'll go back down, then I'll get it back up again. That's kind of what's been going on out here, so... I'm not I'm not some amazing player, so I have my good rounds and I have my bad rounds. So that's the thing there. <laughs> so that's gonna do it for me. My name is Colin Chikowski, aka Ghost Panda. You could go ahead and subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you so wish. You can leave a comment if you have anything mean you wanna say, anything positive you wanna say, whatever. You want to just talk about the game, you know, chillax and talk about the game, whatever, shoot the breeze, whatever. You can also follow me on Twitter at Ghost Panda Collins. You can follow me there. I am talking a, you know, a lot of different things, gaming and sports and whatever else there is. You know, all kinds of, all kinds of neat stuff. <laughs> all right, so that'll do it for me. I think I mentioned everything and mentioned where you can find me and. All that stuff to you know, mention to subscribe and all those good things. So once again, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And hey, I'll talk to you again soon. Peace, adios, sayonara, later.